Okay, you say you like drink black coffee. Does it have to be Starbucks, or could you go to a gas station and drink their coffee and be completely fine? I would never go to a gas station and drink their coffee. However, I, I would. There's lots of companies I would drink coffee from. I really like Pete's Coffee, and and uh, there's other ones I like, but I like dark roast coffees. Okay. So, does it have to be freshly ground coffee beans? Like, are you that particular in your coffee? Are you asking well, if he's I, a coffee snob? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm not yeah. a snob, but I, I mean, no. I mean, I look at it. I any port in a storm. You know, when I want that cup of coffee, I, 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 but, you know, I will tell you that I take my coffee with me when I travel. If I'm traveling outside the country and, and I don't think I'm going to be close to a Starbucks store, which is getting harder and harder now. You're always close to one, but... Um, then I'll make my own coffee. Wow. I was that's not expecting he that. He travels with his coffee. Mm -hmm. so that's good. Okay. So how many cups of coffee a day do you drink, Howard? I drink two triple tall Americanos every day in the morning. So that's three shots of espresso and about plus not quite eight ounces of water. What? So that's about six cups of coffee then. Can you imagine if I drank two triple shots? <laughs> no, how, no, I can't. I would not want that to happen. <laughs> Howard, this is caffeine-free stuff that you're talking to right now. So yes. caffeine-free. Yeah. Yep. So, so if we... I go to Starbucks, I'm either getting the hot chocolate or the caramel apple cider, and I love yeah. them both. But yeah. I'm not a coffee girl. Yes.